so I hope this works. Let's see if I can get enough lighting in here. Alright, so um Alright, so I'm sitting in my car. I'm gonna do this review on this uh this little buddy heater right here. But I got a Walmart. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to run the engine on that long, right? So let's see if this works. Portable radiant heater. Everything in the box. Oh, I need the propane tank. All right, so this was sixty-four. This was three dollars and ninety-seven cents. Big red button says on, black button says off. There doesn't seem to be a, a heat adjuster on here. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Push, push to light pilot. After lit, hold for 30 seconds. Push to light pilot. After lit, hold for 30 seconds. Release to start heater. And the black button says push to shut off. All right. And where did the base go? The base already fell off. So the idea is, is that this is small enough to sit inside of a car. Unlike the, uh, the Mr. Buddy heater. All right, so. Is there an igniter? igniter? Yep, there's an igniter in there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so press to ignite, press to ignite. I smell it, I smell it leaking. Ah, fuck, I can smell the propane coming through there, that's for sure. Maybe I gotta hold it perfectly straight up and down. Oh, I see it. Hold for 30 seconds. 
All right. Holding it for 30 seconds. I can see the pilot light. Turn this off. for 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure that's been 30 seconds. What do you think, guys? I don't know why there's a... Uh... I'm seeing a dial to adjust the amount of heat coming through here. I think it's stuck. That's weird. Huh. That's that's strange. See how you see the pilot light still on? Usually that goes off. I thought. But apparently it stays on. Whoa, god damn. That is, that is definitely warm. See it? I wonder if I'll defog my windows. No, it's actually fogging them up. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. So the pilot light will go out. Or maybe it just went out because I did that. Tipped it. Oh, fuck. That is gonna fall over. Hmm. What to do? What to do? That, that definitely feels like it's gonna fall over. For sure. Yep. God damn it. Well, there's no feet underneath it. There's no feet. So this is how I have it situated right now. Down here on the floorboard. Turn this thing on. There we go. That? 
that better? Yeah. That definitely looks better. But, um, I had to, I had to uh, put it up on the higher side of this carpet so that it leaned a little bit backwards. Or maybe that's level for this thing. So anyways, that's what it looks like. In the car, just gonna set it right there. Hopefully it keeps me warm through the night. I don't feel any, I don't feel any heat coming off of it. So this is what I have. I have my uh, EcoFlow. EcoFlow 600. Oh, you know what? I'll have this light on. Just do that. Right, you go for the 600. And this I was hoping is going to keep me warm in here. Because I didn't bring a sleeping bag, of course. But, you know, whatever. And this is how I actually have it set up. I have a black web six USB hub right there and I have this Belkin power strip one two three four five six on there so there's six USBs six on top of there and then I have it plugged in here it does have a uh, it does have a 90 degree angle swivel plug on it so that's why it's so close to the box. And then I have it plugged in down here. Into the light socket. Right here. And this pulls. It will, it will pull up to, uh, I think it was 120 watts. But I do like how it steps it up. It's doing that. So 102 with the car off. One twenty one, one twenty with the car running. I don't, I don't think this is on. Hmm. I feel it feels warm, but let me see if I touch it. Watch me burn my finger. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so that's the uh, that's the little buddy heater with the um, EcoFlow River 600 and a Makita flashlight. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more and see if I can get it to work. All right, so it is working. That's what it's supposed to look like, and I do believe the pilot light right there is, suppo uh, is supposed to remain on. Um, it's warm, definitely. It will definitely warm this thing up. Ooh, there it goes, oh God. Yeah, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that is hot. So even though it's on an angle, that hot air is hot directly above it. It's definitely warm in here, but there's no adjust, there's no, there's no heat adjuster on there. So I don't know how this is going to work throughout the night, you know, to keep it at one temperature that you want it to be at. Yeah, it is. 
It is definitely hot right there. I'd have to say, is that, it's about 12, that's about 18, 18 inches above. That is definitely, definitely warm. The sides are fine. Below it is fine. Fine, fine, right here. So let's say anything above here is going to get really hot. And it does smell like the paint is gassing off. Off gassing. There's definitely a strong odor in here. Let's see, we started this at 2240. See how long this bottle lasts. Anyways, I'm here in a tiny subcompact car. Let's see if it'll turn itself off if it falls over. Yep, right there. That's when it fell. Turned itself off. All right. It does start right up once you uh, turn it off. All right, we'll be back later whenever it runs out from Soul Lake. It is definitely warm in here, that is for sure. So, um, be eating this chunk light tuna with great value. Kimichichimim, Kimichim, Kimichimin. It's a, it's great value brand, it's Walmart brand, it's also Walmart brand tuna. All right, I like this. It tastes like salsa verde, um, green salsa, but it's uh, it's got a little bit more kick to it. So it's a little hotter than that.
good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. This is the 6.4. This is the 6.4 uh 6.4 ounce tuna packet. Parked over here in a Walmart parking lot. Mm hmm. Seems awfully hot. Oh, holy shit, that's fucking hot. It's hot on the ceiling of the car. I can't believe you can't adjust the uh, heat of the the heat of that little canister. The only way I'm able to adjust the heat is the opening the windows. But that's not gonna fly if it's uh, if it's raining. The good thing about tuna fish is you can eat all of it that you want. And you won't go that. That's a good combination, this stuff right here.
Don't ask me what the temperature is outside. I don't know. I didn't bring my thermometer, my heat gun, or my no contact thermometer. But I am done with that tuna fish package. Change. Oh, that's a bummer. It doesn't fit in the, in the drink holder. Oh no, it fits in the big one, not the small one. All right. I would have to say though, if this lasts all night long, this little heater thing, if this lasts all night long, I would definitely say that it's worth getting. There's no, this thing's gonna burn down the Corvette for sure. Oh man, it would be perfect if you could adjust the heat on that, the heat output. I don't think that's an option though. See, this says that it'll heat up to 95 square feet. Oh, run time is five to six hours. Indoor safe. Yeah, see, it doesn't say it's adjustable on here anywhere. What I'm thinking might work is a Lindel valve. Um, like the little lantern type thing uh, with the little glass on it if I just screw that on top I'll put the one pound bottle to a Lindel valve on there and then I can adjust the flame and I'm hoping that the little flame <clears throat> will heat it will keep itself will keep itself uh, will provide ample amount of Heat, heating. I mean, Bob Wells uses a his heat his stove, his little camp stove, and turns it on. are out of the way maybe that'll help or maybe not is that glass hot yep top of the window is hot I can still touch it but it feels like it's warming up the all-important baby wipes That is not adjustable. It should be. Five to six hours. It's going to run out in the night. <clears throat> not a full time solution. If it was an emergency, yeah, I could see using it. Whoa, wow, well, yeah, that's getting warm. Is it warm on the 
side, yep. <sighs> yeah, the fact that it's not adjustable is definitely a bummer. I thought that was going to be adjustable somehow. But it's not. So, that's it. Four dollars, so it's a dollar per hour to heat. I really didn't want to run the, didn't really want to run the engine on the car. I was trying to find some alternative, but I'm guessing. The best alternative is going to be clothes, sleeping bag, yeah, without having to run the engine. Man, that really sucks. I wonder if I got some lithium batteries and put them in here and put like a little tiny adjustable heater or something, if that would work. I'd have to see how many, um, <clears throat> what the runtime is on it. All right, there we go. All right, so this bottle, as you can tell, is frosty cold. And the flame went out. Don't ask me why. Maybe the propane gets too cold or something when it's uh, leaving and then gets to the point where it can't even, um, you know, it won't function. Which doesn't make any sense. Why, why, would, uh, why would this operate like that where this gets so cold that it freezes the propane and it won't come out of the come out of the uh, you know this heat nozzle you can see it's clicking it's just not flowing see I can smell it if I stick my nose in here and I hold this red button down I can smell it nothing Yeah, I'm gonna have to say, I can't, oh, I wouldn't recommend getting this thing at all. It's supposed to work. Like, I haven't even had this one day yet. Let's see, so it's 112 now, and we started at 22.30 or something like that. So 22, 24, 2, 3, that's only three. Three hours, 15 minutes. I mean, uh, yeah, no, it's supposed to work, you know what I mean? Alright, I think what I'll try is I'll turn the car on and we'll There's fluid in there still. Let's see if we warm this up, if it'll work. The whole point was to, uh, not have to run the car. And there is definitely condensation build up all inside of here.
Да. Надо. Ah, see, look, it just goes out. I'm not even blowing on it. I would just get a sleeping bag for 60, this was $64 plus tax. Um, I would just go ahead and get a sleeping bag. This is not gonna work. You will die if you are trying to rely on this thing. I'll even hold the button in. See a flame? It's going out. See that? You know, I'm actually working up. I'm actually getting a workout doing that. This. Here, let me warm my car up so I can get the heater to work. The propane heater. Okay, so maybe that was at low oxygen. Hmm? I was still alive, so there was still plenty of oxygen in here. All right, let's put this, God damn it. See, even if you just set it down, like just set it down a little hard, it will turn itself off. Twenty-one a.m. and 
it's working. But here's the thing, as it gets so hot in here with that thing, I'm not, uh, I'm in a hoodie right now and a beanie, but it gets so hot in here with this, my, um, my hoodie and my beanie off, my shoes, and I roll my pants up. That's how hot it gets in here. But it's cold outside. I don't know like how cold it is, but it's cold. It's pretty cold. Oh wait, it's right there. It says 33 degrees. 33 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Okay. Look, you can see breath. It's how cold out it is. All right, try this again. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna let this heat up the car and then I'll come back and turn it on when the car gets cold. Which I shouldn't have to do. You should be able to adjust this thing. You know? You would think that you could adjust this little heat lamp thing. And then it would be like perfect. If it started all the time. Alright. I'm going back to bed. Uh, the thing the uh, the heater will shut itself off so how I've managed to correct that issue was to leave the windows open like so and I can I can get maybe two fingers there a thumb definitely that's how you do it. You gotta keep the windows cracked. And, you know, it doesn't, I did have the back windows open too, so. Like that, like that, two fingers. Not really two fingers, thumb. But as you can see, it's working. It's been working. See the flame in there? You'll notice uh, when you have the windows rolled up and it burns all the oxygen or whatever to whatever it feels like it's burned it up to, then that flame will start to sputter out. When it sputters up, and that red glowy thing goes up. Don't ask me what you call that, the uh, radiant heater or something? I don't know, it almost looks like a ceramic thing that gets hot. Maybe it's metal. Not sure. But anyways, there we go. 5.10 a.m. Why is it not telling us what the temperature is outside? Can we read that? 33. Still saying 33. Is it? Probably. <clears throat> Probably, but it's nice outside. <sighs> See it. What's gas prices right now? Here we go. One, one eighty one for future reference. All right, so it's working. How to keep that working? You wanna open these windows. And that low oxygen thing that it does, it won't happen. It hasn't turned off. It hasn't turned off yet. All right, so when the windows are rolled up, you might only get, you'll get 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And then that thing will turn itself off if you don't have the windows unrolled or, you know, cracked at the top. All right, well, that's it. Peace.